all right welcome back to the channel uh, today we're gonna do something fairly simple um, you could be really simple with it if you just went and bought a bird feeder um, but uh, today we're gonna make a bird feeder uh, just out of some stuff we got kicking around the house here and uh, we're gonna put it right over here I know that uh, I've seen some chickadees here in the trees um, so we're just gonna set up a little flat feeding station with some sunflower seeds we'll see how long it takes before the chickadees find it and uh, hopefully we'll get some shots of some chickadees if they show up today stay tuned Try to do this without falling it's extremely icy out here basically what we're going to do is we're just going to take this piece of plywood and we're going to cut it so that these basically fit on the outside edge that gives the bird something to sit on first and foremost and it also gives us um, sort of a more natural look so if you want to do you know, you want something natural looking, a bird sitting on a log, instead of sitting on a metal bird feeder or plastic bird feeder. So, that's basically what we're going to do. So, I just got to take the saw and cut this roughly to the size we need it. And then, we'll be all set to go here.
Uh, B, cedar is very good because it's a wood that uh, ages very well. It doesn't, uh, it's not as susceptible as other woods as far as rotting and that. In fact, this plywood will probably rot far, far before the, uh, before this will, so. Okay, that's good to go. Now, for a post, I had a log I was going to use, but make it look real rustic, but this will work. I've got this 2 by 6 sitting here. Now, I'm putting it in a place, too, that basically the trees are kind of off in the background a little bit. So when I'm shooting with a long lens, uh, my, my foreground will be in focus, but my background will be not as in focus. My depth of field is, uh, is going to be good for, uh, for the back, so I got a little bit of bouquet. Alright, I'll get this fastened up. here with one screw. Just gotta get the other screw in now. So you know what? Flip this around. Because I want a smaller piece of wood on the front. So if a bird's sitting down in it, the bird's not blocking the view as much of my camera. There we go. That's it. Ten minutes. We got a bird feeder. Nothing to it. Well, so that was it. That's pretty simple. Took us about 10 minutes total. 15, just to be at in all the time gathering stuff up. Um, as I'm building it, <laughs> the, the birds started actually coming around. I've got one of these in my front yard, so I don't know if they recognize it already or what, but it sounds like they're starting to line up already, so uh, I don't suspect it'll be very long before we have some chickadees anyways sitting here. Now I did hear some cardinals off in the distance too and if they don't come to the feeder maybe we'll go and see if we can find them. I think they're just over here in the trees. But literally it took 15 minutes to build this. Just out of some scraps that I have laying around here. Um, but even if you didn't have scraps, it, I mean there's not a huge cost to this. If you went to the store and bought that, they'd probably charge you $50 for it. But you know, it's a two by six piece of plywood and four little pieces of cedar kindling that I had. So anyway, we're gonna get set up. I brought a chair out and uh, 
we'll sit and wait and see how long it takes before they they come here but I suspect I'm sure you can hear them in the trees here the chickadees are uh, chirping away here and moving in closer so I don't suspect it'll be very long See, I'm sitting pretty close, but we'll see if they come in. Um, settings I'm using ISO 100. Uh, I'm at shutter speed of 250th of a second, f3.5. Um, I've manually focused on the, the bird feeder itself, so and I'm in uh, continuously high mode, which means I'm on a on a burst, 14 frames per second. Um, hopefully that'll. Uh, Maybe capture some of their wings and stuff when they come in for a landing and they flare their wings up, but we'll see what happens. All right, we're back. Uh, it's actually the next day. I got a couple of photos of uh, Chickadee um, the previous day, but I was starting to run out of light. It was towards the end of the day when I was doing the video, so I probably should have done it in the morning and then I would have had all day, but uh, we did have some birds show up. Um, we've got lots of birds here now. Uh, woke up this morning and there was probably about 10 yellow finch sitting in here, so there's morning doves, there's been some squirrels, a couple of blue jays, some chickadees. So we're just going to set up here. We're going to sit down over here. You won't see me, I'll be off camera, but... I'm going to sit off to the side here and uh, see if we can get a few shots here before it rains. It's supposed to rain today, so anyway, let's see what we can capture. Well, just starting to rain out, so uh, got a couple more chickadees, so that's okay. I found a gray squirrel up here in the tree. He's just waiting for me to leave, so I'm going to head inside and uh, let these birds feed. But uh, if you're new to the channel, click on the subscribe button. Click on the little bell there to get all the notifications of when we upload new videos. Um, if you're watching this, thank you. Appreciate you watching it. You certainly didn't have to, so... That's it for now.